Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Zach Boris. I'm one of the physicians here at Lakes Regional Healthcare in Spirit Lake, Iowa. I am also the Dickinson County Public Health um, President and uh, Medical Director. And I wanted to talk a little bit about um, uh, the COVID-19 coronavirus that everyone's already talking about. Um, wanted to tell you a little bit about what we're doing here at Lakes to help prepare and at uh, Lakes Family Practice and Spirit Lake Medical Center. Um, talk a little bit about the virus itself, um, talk about some good sources uh, where you can get your information rather than just uh, willy-nilly on Facebook, and um, also just tell you how, the, how you can uh, keep yourself and your family safe um, as this spreads. Um, so COVID-19 is a new uh, novel coronavirus that, as I'm sure you're aware, started in China and has now spread pretty much worldwide uh, with new cases being discovered daily. Um, we're up over 105,000 cases confirmed across the world. It's probably higher than that given limitations of testing, but it is getting very, very, very widespread, um, most notably in China, uh, South Korea, now Italy. Uh, there are more cases in uh, Germany and Spain and France as well, and now in the U.S. as well. Um, there are over 1,000 confirmed cases in the U.S. Um, with more um, unfortunately, uh, being confirmed daily. Um, up until two days ago, I was able to say that there were no confirmed cases in Iowa. Um, however, now there are three uh, presumptive cases, which means that their initial um, test is positive. They're waiting for confirmation from the CDC. Those are people who, uh, or who were actually exposed on a cruise, and um, that was over in Egypt. And um, they are now in self-quarantine. Uh, the Iowa Department of Public Health is doing investigations to see who they might have been in contact with uh, until it was noted. Um, so people are wondering what we need to be doing to prepare. Um, so things like uh, staying home if you don't need to be out, uh, washing your hands frequently. <laughs> um, if someone is ill, trying to keep some distance from them, whether it's uh, three feet, six feet is ideal. Um, but trying not to be in close contact with them because the coronavirus is spread through droplet or through droplet spread. So when someone sneezes or coughs, droplets are uh, spread from their respiratory um, system. And direct contact with those droplets or with surfaces where those droplets uh, had landed uh, and then touching an area of um, entry. So touching a surface where someone's coughed, then touching your eyes, touching your mouth, going to try not to do it while I'm on the um, camera. Um, but that's why washing your hands frequently, especially when you've been out and about or when you've been uh, in a store, is very important at this point because if even if it is on a surface, if you've washed your hands um, very well or use sanitizer that has over 60% alcohol in it, then you should be fairly safe. Um, nothing's 100%, but these are the best things we can do. Um, if you think you are sick, so we're running into the fact that, you know, it's still flu season, it's still cold season, and also there's this new virus that people are nervous about. Um, so it's a, a bit of a quandary for lots of people what they should be doing if they think they're sick. Um, so the signs and symptoms of this are generally fever, uh, muscle aches, cough, um, a lot like a cold or a flu. Um, and so if you are having those symptoms and you think you've been exposed, so you've been in, a, in one of these other countries or you've been in contact with someone who has been, or potentially as it spreads in our community, which it probably will over time, um, and you've come into contact with someone, uh, then what we'd like you to do is call our office or call the hospital um, and let us know what's going on. Uh, we, you'll be transferred to a triage nurse who will be able to tell you what you should be doing. Um, and if you're not severely ill, we're probably going to ask you to stay home and perhaps stay home um, for a couple weeks, um, testing your uh, temperature twice a day, and if symptoms worsen, then we would have you come to the hospital. Um, as tests become more available and more um, widespread, or if it becomes more endemic in our local community, we may have you come to the hospital and um, stay in your car where we can come out and assess you and potentially test you there. But we want to try to minimize exposure of other people to you if you have it. Um, again, it is not in our community yet. Um, our hope is that it does not get here anytime soon 
or at all, but we're doing what we can to prepare. Um, we're working with schools, we're working with businesses, we're working with uh, community centers to try to um, get the word out that if you're sick, you shouldn't be there. Um, that if you are there, you should be washing your hands frequently. Uh, there is no role at this point for masks to be worn in the community, so please don't go over to Baumgars or, or um, Walmart and buy every mask you can buy. Uh, please don't uh, go and buy every hand sanitizer that you can, uh, but you know it's important to be prepared and, and have the supplies that you need. Um, the CDC is recommending that you have about two weeks worth of, of um, non-perishable foods at home so that you can, um, if you do become quarantined or if it does become endemic here, that we can really limit um, the spread by not having people have to go out. Um, if you are on regular medications or if you um, uh, feel that you might need medications, then I would buy them now. Uh, see if your pharmacy will give you a 90-day supply instead of 30 days. Um, which they should be willing to do, have and then have things like Tylenol, Advil, um, uh, Gatorade, things like that, as you would uh, for a general cold or flu, have those on hand just so you're ready so you don't have to go out and expose anybody if you were to get ill. Um, the people who are most affected by this and who have gotten the most severely ill are the elderly and the people who have um, significant uh, immunosuppressive illnesses or other chronic illnesses. Um, Thankfully, uh, children are not seemingly affected by this as much as other illnesses that we are concerned about, uh, like influenza. Um, remember to put it into perspective, there are tens of thousands of deaths every year in the US um, to influenza, and worldwide, less than 10,000 people have died from this um, novel virus. Um, but we don't know where this is going to go. Um, we don't know how extensive it's going to be, but by being prepared, by working together, by not, if you are ill, by not exposing others to it, um, we can try to limit the spread of this and limit the effects. Um, again, if you are severely ill, if you're working hard to breathe, if you're coughing to the point of uh, being unable to catch your breath, uh, if you have high fevers and have been exposed to someone who might uh, have come into contact with the virus, then call the hospital, call the clinic, will tell you what you need to do um, and we know it's scary but again uh, we're trying to take charge of this and we appreciate your uh, trying to uh, do what you can to protect yourselves your families and the rest of the community uh, as we go forward and we'll keep you updated regularly um, just in closing a few great resources for you would be the CDC website uh, the Iowa Department of Public Health website um, those are really two key ones about what's being done in our local community and nationally. And um, there are maps on there as to where it's spread. And again, um, we urge you to just stay vigilant, but also stay calm um, and uh, know that this is going to be okay and that we're doing what we can to um, help prevent the spread unnecessarily. Um, thank you. Uh, have a wonderful day.